Hey guys, um, this is sort of a follow-up video on the uh, JL, uh, JLP, I mean, uh, JLP uh, progression front sights. Um, if you're watching from the previous video, no, I wasn't really satisfied with um, how the front sights came out. They had a blue bronze finish on them, and you know, paying a little, you know, paying a lot for them. I was sort of disappointed with that, and um, I sent a message to him. And he responded very fast, which I was very pleased with. So um, he's got good response time, and you know I think he cares about his product. Uh, he told me that um, that it can be cleaned off, so that's what we're gonna do on here. He told me all you need to do is just get some uh, silicone lube, and right now you just see some silicone here. I'm gonna use what I think everybody has available to them, and that's 100% pure silicone oil. Uh, I believe that's the most common type of lube you can get. So we're gonna use that, and from his, from from what I understand from him explaining, it sounds like the the factory, like when it's done in factory, is completely fine, and just when it sits in these bags for a while, it starts to uh, change color. So I'm guessing maybe oxidates or something like that, but I'm not really educated on that. I need to educate myself on that. I, actually, at the moment, I am educating myself on this pro these processes, because be honest, guys. <laughs> I, uh, I buy a lot of gold, and I can't ten, I can't tell you guys how much I hate how the uh, all the golds are different colors. I, I just I, I hate it. It drives me nuts. So I'm trying to I've been trying to research how all the stuff works and why are they different tints of gold. And I'm learning a lot, so it's a uh, been fun process. But I'm going to show you guys what they look like before and after, and to see if it really works. Because he did uh, respond pretty fast. Which I'm glad shows that he cares. Okay, here is one of the worst ones. Okay, let me see if you guys can see. Can you guys see how it's all discolored? Here's the. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do this guy first, and then we'll do these other guys second. I have like a piece of cloth I have right here. In my lap. We're just gonna put 100% pure silicone oil right here. Just get wet enough that we can just put the front front sight in here and just 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 wash it off and see if it really does come off the discoloration. Okay, let me. All right, there we go. And if anything, I will just uh, pour the silken on the front side so we can exhaust all options. So I, you know, give it a fair thing. But first, let's try this. Okay, I'm going to dry it off. Okay, uh, it, it does look a little better, I'm not gonna lie, but it's still discolored for those who are really picky. Okay, can you guys see? It's still got, this. uh, it's still got discoloration, but it's, uh, definitely better than before, so I guess he, uh, he's a little right about that, but... <laughs> Sorry guys, you, you, I'm honest with everybody. Um, for this amount of money, there's still there shouldn't be any discoloration because there's discoloration on this side. But let's give uh, another benefit of doubt. All right, let's look at this guy. We got some bronze, bronzing on the back. You should be able to see that in the camera. I can see it on the screen. I'm looking at the screen right now, trying to make sure you guys see what I see. Okay, so this one's got a little bronze patch right here. And there's a little bronze patch in here. Let's try it this way this time. Uh, let's... You guys see it right here? We're just going to pour the silken oil on it. Okay, we, we soaked that guy in there. <laughs> I'm just going to 
try to clean it up. Sorry for the background, guys. This is where I uh, work, and I'm working on a couple of projects right now. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick video, a quick break for me. Just to make sure I can get this guy out of the way. See how these are. This is a Glock front sight. I was going to do a video on it, but not really. Because since it's just a Glock front sight, which is actually pretty cool. There's not many Glock front sights. Nope. It's a no-go. It cleaned it a little. I don't know how rough I'm supposed to clean it. But, um... I mean, you shouldn't be having to do this for 25 plus, I think the 23, 25, 28 front dollar, front, uh, you know, these are expensive front sites. They're cool, but once again, guys, I'm very, very picky. I'm still seeing it's not a perfect finish. So I don't know what happened. Uh, looks like, oh, that's one I already did, okay. Okay, so we have some discoloration on here, but not too much. Let's do this one. Um, let's try something different. Let's try the murder oil. Okay, this is murder oil light. And we'll just do this Glock one. Okay, you guys can see a little bronze patch right here. Front is there's one little spot right there, and right side looks completely looks fine. Let's just throw that in here. To, oh, I'll clean this one first. All right, and then after this test, guys, um, I don't know what else. Uh, maybe I'll ask him again if there's anything specific he needs me to do, just to be fair. You know, I always, you know, I always try to be fair to each company that I, you know. I do videos on and you know get multiple views you know and like I tell you guys I'm just an idiot who learns hard way so there's a lot I don't know so maybe I'm doing something wrong but right now I can be honest with you guys I am not happy okay bleed cleaned him and he looks this guy looks a lot better now but once again there's still discoloration but not on the left side anymore, but just on the right side. Maybe, maybe I have to soak them or something. I don't know if you guys can be able to pick this up on the camera. You guys see the patch right here and right here? There's a dark blotch right here and left. Um, and that just mean being really, really picky. But, you know, when I like building customer gun, I like everything to be good as possible. But I can always do that. Messed up on a grip tape last week. Wasn't happy with that. <laughs> All right, yeah. So that's a no go. So far, it is cleaning it up, guys. It is cleaning it up, but there are still weird, like you know, patches of uh, discoloration. So I'm not completely happy, but it's a little cleaner than before. Let's check out this last one, and this was a long video just for cleaning front sights. If you guys have any questions as usual, just ask me. Um, I'm going to recommend these front sights. I think they're dope, no doubt. Um, they work. They really do. They're you know they work as fiber optics, so I would probably still give them thumbs up even with this problem uh, this finish but if you're trying to get something that looks you know it's just beautiful from every little detail you can get either a make sure you know how to uh, anodize and maybe re-anodize and paint them I may paint one or two of these if I keep them um, this one looks a lot better being really picky the side is completely clean which is good so that's an improvement backside still have that discoloration spot it's a really it's a dark black and then you got this little lighter black here uh, right side is a little better all right so um, overall it did clean it like he did say but being completely honest there are some spots that don't seem to go away unless I need to scrub it big time 
or maybe it's just a, you know it's a small factory error okay uh, but uh, that is it with the JLP um, I'm still gonna recommend them because one they look cool and they do do their job as fiber optics okay you guys can see that from pretty far away on the camera okay really I'm supposed to not let the light appear so I think you guys can see how good these work you guys can see from the camera alright so they definitely do the job but for those picky who are you know want the best finish with best finish uh, I'm gonna say no alright unless you can have you have anodization process or not a spray paint just take out the vibro optic and repaint it yourself other than that they work great they look great it's, uh, it's nice to see different types of fibers because I've been stuck with with uh, three types of fiber fronts for the last six eight years this hasn't been anything new so he's finally bought uh, we finally have something new so thumbs up and I'll see you guys around let me know if you have any questions take it easy man